hydrazines are described by the Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry as clear, colorless liquids with an ammonia-like odor. There are numerous kinds of hydrazine compounds made for industry, and small amounts of hydrazine can even be found naturally in plants. The National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health reports that hydrazines are highly reactive and easily catch fire. They are used in many industries, such as the manufacturing of rocket propellants and fuels for spacecraft. Some examples of workers at risk of being exposed to hydrazine include the following. Workers who use it for boiler water treatments to protect against corrosion. Industrial workers who use it as a chemical reactant. Researchers who explore cancer treatments. And agricultural workers who use it in pesticides. NIOSH does state that workers may be harmed from exposure to hydrazine. The level of harm depends upon the dose, duration, and work being done. ATSDR reports that breathing hydrazines for short periods may cause coughing and irritation of the throat and lungs, convulsions, tremors, or seizures. Breathing hydrazines for long periods may cause liver and kidney damage, as well as serious effects on reproductive organs. Eating or drinking small amounts of hydrazines may cause nausea, vomiting, uncontrolled shaking, inflammation of the nerves, drowsiness, or coma. NIOSH also lists it as a potential occupational carcinogen. To protect workers, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration has set a permissible exposure limit for hydrazine, and NIOSH has a recommended exposure limit. These are just a few things to know about hydrazine and potential occupational exposure risks. To learn more about this or other industrial hygiene, environmental, health, or safety issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.